Yes, my old friend. Want tech news and exclusive leaks in a way that doesn't suck? Hit the subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss the next episode. <laughs> Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Front Page Tech, FPT. <laughs> of course, show the game show is tech news, more geek that is me, to another that is you. Happy Saturday, quick episode for you. Uh, hey, real quick, before we jump into the news, this will probably be the last episode of Fupata before Tuesday. So just remember, this is your reminder, that on March 1st, which is Tuesday, that's when you can expect to see official invites to Apple's spring event, the first event of the year. So be on the lookout for that. I know, daddy's always looking out for you. Okay, news. All righty tighty. So first up of the day, story numero uno, let's talk about Apple's upcoming AR, VR, headset. A new report has come out that once again rumors the headset to have advanced micro OLED displays inside. We're talking two micro OLED displays from Sony and also one AMOLED, which by the way, we have no idea what that AMOLED panel is for. We just know it's going to be there. Oh, also uh, it's going to have an M1 chip inside. Uh, so there's that. Much fast, many power, Wow. But most importantly, this report from ET News says that Apple's AR VR headset has completed engineering validation testing, which is done to make sure that the device meets Apple's design requirements. This is actually the second report that has said this in the last week or so, which makes the validity of the information just that much more believable. DigiTimes reported the exact same thing last week, saying that mass production is set to start before the end of the year. Okay, we're getting closer, but uh, when is it coming? When is it uh, happening? Well, typically, mass production begins around a month or two months ahead of an actual launch so i could see this being teased or announced later this year with actual shipments happening early next year but listen i gotta be honest i'm genuinely wondering so this is a new product a completely new product from apple and a completely new product category for them and it seems like the majority of you don't care <laughs> Why? I'm genuinely curious. Like, when I talk about this, people do not go crazy over it the same way they do, say, a uh, future iPhone. Is it because this is new and sort of foreign still in Apple territory? Uh, is it because it feels like it's never coming because we've been reporting on this for years? Or is it just genuinely a product that does not interest you? Either way, let me know. Let me know down in the comments below. Uh, here, I'll give you a second to type. You're welcome. Hey, is your company or business having a tough time finding and hiring the right people? And somehow, even if you do find someone to hire, they kind of suck. That's why this episode is sponsored by Workable. Workable helps you cast the widest net possible by posting your jobs to all of the top job boards, more than 200 total, with just one click. It helps you evaluate and hire quickly with modern tools like video interviews and e-signatures. And Workable will help you automate repetitive tasks like scheduling interviews. That way, you can spend your time on what's important. So whether you're hiring for your coffee shop or your engineering team, Workable is exactly what you need to hire the right people fast. Go to Workable workable.com slash podcast to start hiring today with a risk-free 15-day trial. And if you do end up hiring during the trial, which many do, it won't cost you a thing. And of course, huge thanks to Workable for sponsoring this episode. Okay, welcome back. Uh, did you type your thing? You type your comment? Okay, listen, story numero lasto, last up for the day. Uh, I actually had a different story in this slot, but then something else came in like right when I came into the studio to film. And so we're going to do this instead. Right as I got in here, uh, a source sent me this. So I'm not sure if it's like made it around the rest of the internet yet, but an account on Weibo posted this schematic of iPhone 14. Now, at first glance, it doesn't look like anything we haven't seen before. We knew this weird notch cutout thing was coming, but this is the first schematic like this that we have seen. Any other time you've seen this design, it has been just based on information that's out there, likely accurate information, but when it really comes down to it, we're all, we all just sort of assumed the scale of this notch cutout thing. But on this schematic, bruh, you can see it's actually bigger than everyone thought. Like, this is oddly big. And I wouldn't just make an episode based on a random post on Weibo, Weibo, whatever it's called. I wouldn't do that. Uh, I'm making this episode because I have independently been able to verify that this, <laughs> this is it. This is likely the size of this notch cutout thing for iPhone 14. This schematic, 
is real. Like, look at what we've been showing for weeks, right? This is what we've been showing you compared to the actual size of the cutouts. Uh, this, this is pretty chunk. Man, I, I hated it already, right? I hated this thing when we thought it was going to be small. When we, when we assumed it was going to be a little bit smaller. Yep, still hated it. Uh, and now... Now I big hate it. Apple, question, uh, what is even the point? Just keep the notch there at this point. How is this better? It's like the same size. You just took the edge. This looks like, like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich that you just cut the crust off and went, look, small sandwich now, not big. I am, oh, oh I am progressively getting more upset the longer I look at this. This, This looks like somebody is joking. Everyone, go ahead, start updating your renders, cause, uh, this is bigger than we expected. Huh, okay, um, hmm. See, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say that this makes me wanna die, <laughs> right? Cause that would be, a, that would be a terrible joke, a terrible thing to say. Uh, but I'm not gonna... I can't say that it makes me wanna not die.